Hello today's video we have the following content. The entertainment industry has suddenly changed, Zhang Han's new work has failed, but Tang Yan's career has taken off. Who is the real winner? Zhang Han's new job is not going well, Tang Yan's career is taking off, and the entertainment industry is in chaos. Who is the real winner? Oh, everyone is eating watermelon paste. Are you okay? Today we will talk about these things in the entertainment industry. It is simply full of gossip and laughter. The keywords are very clear, Zhang Han, Zhu Zudin, Tang Yan, Wang Yibo, Jinjing, each of them is a topic figure, which guarantees that you will enjoy it while watching. First of all, Zhang Han, the former domineering president, has been a bit depressed recently. His new film with Zhu Zudin is another failure, and it is a terrible work. Almost no one watches his works now. When people talk about him in old pop or contemporary pop, everyone avoids his whimsical ideas. You say it's troublesome or not, Zhang Han, Zhang Han, why don't you go out? You should be your own producer and screenwriter, and invest in your own works. I believe everyone can sympathize with your Mary Sue works. But what is the result? He invested money and disgusted people, but in the end, he was the one who got stuck, and the commercial value was also lost. I think Zhang Han had a different feeling when he watched Wu Jin on the screen. It's a pity that he was arrogant at the time and disdained to play a supporting role for others. He only wanted to stand out in his own field. What happened later? As you can see, it is still the same today. People really saw that the showbiz industry is so sudden that they can fall from the clouds to the bottom of the valley if they are not careful. Speaking of Tang Yan, this young lady's career has been in full swing since flowers blossoming. Her resources in the 85 flowers can now only be surpassed by Zhao Lingyin, and some are even better than her. Why do you say that? Because compared with the Beijing circle behind Zhao Lingyin, Tang Yan's status in the Shanghai circle has been immediately improved. Now, the Shanghai circle regards her as another Ma Yili and gives her resources equivalent to Ma Yili's before. Such treatment is simply against the rules. But on the other hand, whether Tang Yang can follow in Ma Yili's footsteps also depends on whether she can stand on her own. Competition in the entertainment industry is fierce. If you are not careful, she may overtake you. Let's talk about Wang Yibo. This little brother has become very popular recently. He started his own adventure plan, and many people praised him after he started. Many people praised Wang Yibo for his courage and guts. This kind of program with certain dangers is simply not affordable for ordinary artists. Wang Yibo not only participated, but also did a good job, which is really admirable. It seems that Wang Yibo's team still pays more attention to his career planning and does not blindly accept some works that are not suitable for him. On the contrary, they gave him a chance to improve himself through such programs during the interval of his career. On the other hand, the capital behind Wang Yibo is obviously not as good as it was in the past. In the past, capital could open several dramas a year. Now in the winter of film and television, Capital has not only reduced investment, but also stopped opening unstable projects. The reason is also saying. Finally, let's talk about Jin Jing, a young woman who has been making a lot of noise since she became pregnant. Not only did she tout her little pregnant woman persona, but she also took her unborn child to the hot topic list. She threatened to name the child, which was also drunk. However, Jin Jing did this for a reason. After all, the father of the child is not well known in the entertainment industry. Although he is also involved in the entertainment industry, his income is not as high as hers, and his commercial value is not high. After Jin Jin became pregnant, she deliberately downplayed the title of her husband. In order not to suffer losses in her career, she kept showing up and warmed herself in various ways. Giving the child a surname was also a conscious decision made by her and her husband. Our goal is to make her popular and ensure that she can benefit from her identity as an independent woman. Everything that happens in the entertainment industry is really incredible. Okay, 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 today's entertainment gossip is discussed here. What do you want to say to the watermelon masses? Welcome to leave us a message in the comment area. Let's talk about these things in an interesting circle. Next news. After only four episodes, it has already scored a high score of 8.0. Finally, there is a drama that people can stay up all night to watch. The epic scenes of war and battles have come to an end, and the legendary scenes of love, hatred and vengeance have come to an end. Costume drama, this wonderful flower that once bloomed brilliantly on the Chinese screen, seems to be gradually becoming lonely. 
The sweet honey of pets makes people hoarse, the mist of immortal heroes covers the novelty, and the size of the audience's aesthetic fatigue blow down the prosperity like the autumn wind. However, in this slightly bleak scene, an ancient costume fantasy drama called Liu Guangyun is like a green ivy that has broken through the ground. With its novel setting, ups and downs of the plot and vivid characters, it has quietly climbed into the hearts of the audience and injected a fresh vitality into the costume drama market. The picture scroll of the story slowly unfolds in a war-torn world. Han Ziking, a mercenary from modern times, the gears of fate brought her to a strange time and space the Shiyang dynasty. Here, the imperial power is supreme, the struggle is surging, and she, incarnated as a poor woman with a mysterious identity, struggles to survive in the deep palace full of dangers. However, Han Ziking is not a weak woman in the traditional sense. She has unique skills and a meticulous mind. She always maintains the courage and sharpness of a mercenary. Whether facing the conspiracy and intrigue that is pressing step by step, or dealing with the sudden sword and shadow, she can always turn danger into safety, and even turn defeat into victory, giving those who have ill intentions a thunderous counterattack. The red line of fate closely connects Han Ziking with Jun Biao, the fourth prince of the Shiyang dynasty. Jun Biao, a proud son of heaven, has a noble status and a deep mind, but at a concubine selection ceremony, he fell in love with the seemingly ordinary Han Ziking at first sight, and declared his possession of her in an almost overbearing way. This king chooses you. Kama Jun Biao's voice, with its unquestionable majesty and its coldness, broke the tranquility of the imperial concubine selection ceremony and also broke Han Ziking's peaceful life. One is a soul from another world, and the other is a powerful prince. Their encounter is like the collision of two meteors, destined to illuminate each other's lives and also destined to set off a series of storms. In this emotional competition full of unknowns and games, Han Zikin is not blindly indulging in Jun Biao's gentle trap. She keeps a clear mind and tries to control her own destiny and uncover the mystery of her life. Jun Biao is also attracted by Han Zikin's independence and tenacity. In his relationship with her, he gradually shows his iron-blooded and tender side. In addition to the wonderful performances of the two protagonists, the supporting roles in Liu Guangyin are also shining. Han Zir, played by Guo Zingxing, is willful and willful but has no scheming, like a paper tiger.